Hi folks and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the Panzer II, one of the Tier II German light tanks. Now this is a follow-up to the Panzer I video from earlier and another tank I had to rebuy in order to ace because I missed it on the first time around, played it on the first day of playing World of Tanks, probably within my first hour or two. Um, so yeah, and it looks almost the same because we're back on Mittengard, spawned at the same place and I'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing. So it's almost the same replay, but um, it is a different tank. This is the Panzer II. So um, essentially the history follows up from the video from earlier as well because while Germany were building up their tank industries and already building the underpowered Panzer I, which they knew was underpowered and it was deliberately so, um, they were also addressing the Panzer I's faults by designing and building the Panzer II. And now this was a tank that had 14 to 30 millimeters of armor. The first batch of Panzer IIs that were built had 14 millimeters, just like the Panzer I's, but the later versions all had 30 millimeters of frontal armor and the tank we have in game has 30 millimeters of frontal armor so this is incredibly well armored for a tier 2 frontal leap with 30 millimeters and much better armored than the Panzer 1 which is the same tier. Um, so it was also armed with a 20 millimeter gun although in real life it came with the MG13s just like the Panzer 1 but some of them were armed with a 20 millimeter gun um, and again that was as a result of the Panzer 1s failing to perform during the Spanish Civil War. Uh, the gun, the final gun we get in game is actually a flak cannon um, it's an anti-aircraft gun which wasn't used for direct fire so a little bit historically inaccurate regarding its final gun but um, essentially uh, it's uh, 30 millimeters of frontal armor with a 20 millimeter gun and uh, the prototype was built in 1935. Now even though the prototype existed in 1935 it didn't enter production until 1937 and it remained in production surprisingly until 1945. So this is a tank that remained in production all the way throughout World War II from 1937 up till 1945. There were 1,856 of these built in total. Uh, but there were numerous versions, uh, lots of different versions of this tank. Um, another version of the Panzer II you might be familiar with is the Panzer II Aus L. So the Panzer II Aus L is better known by the name Lux. So this is, the Lux is basically a variant of the Panzer II. Um, there, it was also used as the basis for a large number of other vehicles such as the Vesp, the uh, Martyr II and the Leopard. Uh, they all, they were all based on the Panzer II. Now the Panzer II took in part in the invasion of France. It took part in the North Africa. It, it was involved in the Eastern Front. Um, but with the development of the Panzer III and the Panzer IV, it was taken out of frontline service or converted. So even though it remained in service and was continually built up till the end of World War II, um, it was mainly, mainly used as command tanks, reconnaissance tanks, or used for training or second line defense. So, um, but uh, it was a very, probably Germany's first main modern tank. And it was designed to be a tank that was competitive against all the other tanks that other nations were building at the time, unlike the Panzer I, which was built essentially as a training tank. So um, anyway, this is the Panzer II. It was bigger and better than the Panzer I in every single way, and in-game it's exactly the same. So even though it's considered the same tier as the Panzer I, the Panzer II was a joy to play. I hated the Panzer I, hated playing the Panzer I. The Panzer II was a joy to play because 30 millimeters of frontal armor compared to the 14 on the Panzer I means you can bounce a lot of tier two tanks. It's very well armored for a tier two. Um, but the major difference for me is the gun and its penetration. Again, not a starkly accurate gun, but it's good enough. But the penetration gets you 39 millimeters of penetration compared to 30 on the Panzer I. So this is a tank that can deal with M2 lights frontally and you don't have to fire a lot of premium ammunition to do it. Um, and also the major major change for this tank over the Panzer 1 is the fact it gets almost 40 degrees of turret traverse compared to the Panzer 1's 20 degrees. So this is a tank that can turn its turret, can track moving targets. It can actually, uh, it plays a lot like, or it plays a lot like the medium tanks or light tanks you would expect to play. So um, the Panzer 1, I just hated the turret traverse. This one has got decent turret traverse. It's got a better gun. It's got better armor. Uh, it's just as fast. It's just as maneuverable. Um, and it's just a much, much better tank all around, just like it was in real life. So once again, um, I found myself on Mittengard. This is my second game in the tank. I lost my first game, but uh, we, this is my second game in the tank after rebuying it and thankfully aced it and sold it after this. But um, yeah, uh, it's almost identical to the first game, although this time there aren't very many M2 lights on the enemy team. We've got none, but there's only one on the enemy team, so uh, 
We're just going to advance. Is this the correct speed? There we go. Replay one. Uh, we're going to advance, getting early spots off. And we are going to move down to the same position. As I say, it's almost the same game as the first game of the Panzer 1. Gonna move down. This time I've got a little bit of support. And this time there are tanks advancing. M2 light, and you can see I, I automatically switch to premium ammunition. I probably don't need it against the M2 light, but I don't want to miss or bounce very many shots. And you can see that the rate of fire is much, much better with this final gun than it is on the Panzer 1. So gun, much, much better. Armor, much, much better. And the turret traverse, much, much better. Um, if, if I was keeping a tank, I would probably keep this one as a tier 2. I thought it was quite good. Um, the M2 Lite, still superior tank, but this one is almost, almost as good. And we can you know, use regular ammunition. We can clip enemy tanks and do a lot of damage to them. So... Um, yeah, finish off the Panzer II for, uh, yeah, kill number two. And we can drive out because I've got decent, ar or decent armor. So uh, we're up to three kills and just advancing. So uh, M2 Light's dead on the enemy team, I'm happy with that. So have to be careful with my shots. Okay, don't kill him, but do a bit of damage. Oh, he managed to pen me a couple of times, but uh, try to angle, try to get in over angle, but uh, go back to work here. Using the FCM-36 for cover because there is arty in play. And, uh, oh, managed to bounce a shot off uh, friendly there, but uh, was getting rammed from behind by the T-26. We actually managed to advance, take him out for kill number four. Um, okay, T-2 medium, you know what, lots of enemy tanks in the north. They've, they've basically flanked around, came through the middle, flanked around. Lots of tanks to my left, and uh, we're just going to advance. Uh, get to the rear of the, uh, what is this? This is the LTVZ-35. So, LTVZ-35, one of the most advanced tanks of the time. And this was a tank uh, built by Germany that could compete with the LTVZ-35. And it can. It had similar armor. Um, gun wasn't quite as powerful, but um, anyway, T-60. And again, okay, yeah, we can get side shots on this guy. And even though we can't clip him, we can do a lot of damage. So, um, using the wreck for cover. I don't know if the T2 medium realized he was saving the uh, T60's life there, but we've advanced. You can see we're bouncing shots. We can uh, basically bounce with this tank. Um, yeah, so the armor is good. The gun is good. It's fun to play. Um, and the turret first makes this not a pain at all. Um, I really, really enjoyed this tank. And as I say, if I was keeping a tank, uh, there's kill number seven. Um, yeah, if I was keeping a tank at tier two, this would be a contender. Um, I quite liked this tank, even though I only played a couple of games in it, but um, much, much better, much, much better than the Panzer I. So just RT in play, and uh, there's no way, even though this tank is reasonably fast, there's no way I'm going to be able to get to this guy in time to kill him. So i um, not going to pick up an eighth kill, but um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the Panzer II. I thought the Panzer I was a pain to play through, but this one, much, much better. And um, yeah, as I say, the M2 Lite's still a far, far superior tank, overpowered even. Uh, but this is a decent, decent tier two. I really, really enjoyed the Panzer II. So we picked up the Ace, we picked up Cool Headed, Scout, and Top Gun. No Pascucci's in this particular one, but it was almost an identical game to the previous one. And you can see that I spotted a lot of enemy tanks, damaged a lot of enemy tanks, and I think this is a very, very good tank. I mean, the penetration is better than the Panzer I, the armor is better than the Panzer I, the view range is just as good, the mobility is just as good, and it's got better turret traverse, much, much better turret traverse. So it's a better tank than the Panzer I all round, but yet it's the same tier. So you'd have to be crazy to play the Panzer I one when the Panzer II is there, but um, anyway, uh, as I say, happy with the result. 953 XP was enough to pick up the Ace, 621 damage, 7 kills, uh, fired 132 shots, only managed to hit 90 of them and pen 60 of those. Um, we managed to do 62 assistance damage, spotted 11, damaged 9, destroyed 7, and earned 12,000 credits, which is pretty standard for a Tier 2. Uh, it was my first win in the tank, not my first game, I think it was my second game in the tank, but um, on a times 5 event, left me on a very very healthy 7,150 XP with a premium account, which went to a long, long, long way to uh, improving my crew in the tank. So um, after this game, even though I liked the tank, it's a tier two and I hate tier two matchmaking at the moment. I hate the maps, hate the fact that you've got to play around M2 lights and professional puppy kickers. So um, anyway, I sold the tank. It's done. It's dusted. It's gone. It was nice to hop into it. It's nice to talk about the history, but this is a tank I hadn't played since my very first 
couple of hours of playing World of Tanks way back in the day. Um, so nice to hop back into it and see see how good the tank is. I probably didn't realize how good the tank was back then, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a decent tank and I would much, much rather play this over the Panzer 1, even though it's the same tier. So uh, anyhow, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.